All right, what is up, guys? It's your boy Will back with another video today. Hope you guys are doing good. Now, in this video, I will be talking about three stocks that can explode tomorrow, and I'm gonna give you guys all the key levels I'm looking out for. Okay, so buying levels, resistance levels, and support levels, all the key levels I'm looking for on all three stocks. Now, before I start the video, make sure you use code Will sixty off. They get 60% off the stock market options crash course, okay? It's another way to say thank you to you guys for all over on the channel. This ends September 30th. The last day of September is going to be ended, okay? 60% off, okay? The biggest discount ever. I'm trying to help you guys out more to learn in these markets, okay? Will 60 off, 60% off the stock market options crash course. So, the first stock we'll be talking about today is Camber Energy, okay? Ticker symbol CEI. Ticker symbol CEI. So, make sure you guys smash that like button. Let's get the video over 250 likes. I know you guys can do it. And smash that subscribe button, okay? Let's try to get 20,000 followers by the end of the year. Now, it's having some nice run up, right? But really hasn't given me an entry that I really wanted just to enter off of because it is a lot of risk in this stock, okay? It came from like 40 cents almost to two dollars a lot of risk so i wanted to enter on a actually good level that i didn't mind holding for a little bit if i needed to so now i finally do see a level that i'm willing to buy and it came after we had this nice run up here okay having some pullback after hours which is which is you want to see okay every consistent run up you need those pullbacks to make it a healthy run up okay so looking for that pullback so the level that i'm looking at to buy is a dollar 65 Okay, now let me tell you, if we get buying pressure at this dollar sixty-five level, I am going to load the boat. Okay, I plan on loading the boat around that area, and then my exit. I'm looking for about like two dollars. Let me, can I zoom out? Two. Let me go. Let's go to the hourly chart real quick so we can um, kind of zoom out a little bit. So looking for. Let me go to the four hour chart. All right, there you go. So looking for $2.20 for an exit. Okay. So $2.26 for an exit, $1.65 for that entry. So if we get buying pressure at that level, looking at X around 220, about a 34% scout play. I think that is very possible. Stock has been showing strength after not really moving for like months, right? It hasn't really moved for months. And now we're starting to have that push, just how that push was like that. So this push was actually a lot probably like over 100 something percent so that was a lot of push i'm looking for that type of run now but i'm actually looking for this run to take out these highs okay so start making newer highs but that will be a longer type of play but for right now uh around a dollar 65 i'll look for that buying pressure at around two dollars 20 cents i'll be looking for that exit and also a resistance level okay so those are the two main levels i'm looking for on cei for camber energy next stock haven't talked about this one in a while. Iron Net, okay? Ticker symbol I R N T. Ticker symbol I R N T, okay? Now, on this stock, pop up, settle down, pop up, settle down, having some pullback. This pullback is leading, coming to a buying level, okay? So this right here is perfect. This is what I want to see coming, pulling back to that buying level that I want, okay? Now, exit target is around. $28. This one's risky as well. So try not to put too much money in here. Try not to be a millionaire one play. We just need to get our profits and get out. Okay. So $28 resistance level that I see. So make sure you guys smash the like button if you're already. Let's get the video over 250 likes. And this will be the last video for today. Okay. So just make sure you pay attention to the levels. So $28 resistance. Buying level. I want to buy. We'll make it even number at $23. Very, very close to where price is now. Okay, so I'll be watching this one closely tomorrow to see if we can get that buying pressure. I try not to buy too much on Friday because over the weekends, anything can happen, right? So we really don't know which way the markets will go. But if I do see that, I'll probably try to scalp it. But if it comes kind of later in the day, so kind of watch the time that it kind of hits this and should start showing its buying pressure. Because if it's later in the day, I still might buy, but I just won't go as heavy. But if it's earlier in the day, like at least the first half of the trading day, then I probably go a little heavier to try to scalp it. Okay. So buying level around 23, exit is around 28. 
entry to exit about a 21% scalp play. Okay, very possible scalp play. We just need that buying pressure around that $23 level. Okay, and that's ticket symbol I R N T for Iron Net. Next stock, which is the last stock, Wish stock W I S H ticker symbol W I S H. Now, been having some scalps in here, right? Some scalp moves. Now it's pulling back, made a low. This is the lowest wish has ever been. Okay, so you really can't buy it any lower than this. But what is beneficial to us is this right here. Okay, this move right here led to me seeing a buying level. Okay, that's why I'm adding it in this video. Make sure you guys don't forget to use Will 60 off, 60% 60 off the stock market options crash course. It will better your knowledge on how to enter off these buying levels, how to trade in bullish markets, bearish markets, day trading. It will help you out a lot. Okay, so make sure you use Will 60 off for the crash course. Now, first resistance level. Now, this level I might not exit, but I just want to put it on here to show you that there is some resistance right there. So that's around $6.55 six dollars and like 85 we'll put 690 next resistance and then like around 740 is the last resistance so it does have a lot of resistance above prices okay depending on which one sells the most is where i'll start selling off but i'll explain that in one minute but the buying level i want to buy off that six dollar figure okay six dollars let's turn that green Okay, so this is how we play it. So say we buy a six. First resistance is around 655, okay? So if there's a lot of resistance that comes in here, I'll probably sell about 30 to 40% of, of the position, right? Get about a 9% gain, let it fall, and put that position back in, okay? And then run up here to around 690 for a 14% return. But if I don't see too much selling pressure off here, it probably does this a little bit, then I'll hold the whole position and then my exit will be around 6.90 for a 14% gain. Okay. The only way I'll be looking to actually hold the position around 7.40 is if it comes to this resistance level falls and I buy back in. Okay. That's the only way I really be looking to exit up there. But my main exit is really around six dollars ninety cents for about that 15% scalp play. Okay. So those are the main um, four levels I'll be looking for. Three resistance levels, one main buying level. Watch it very closely. You always want to put that buying confirmation to confirm because it could just come down here, show a little pressure, and then fall and break new lows. Okay. That's why I always say make sure you're doing the buy and sell signals because we do have a chat room in there and we talk throughout the markets every market hour day. Okay. So make sure you smash the like button and subscribe and turn your post notifications. Always remember another recommendation to buy or sell anything just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.